years, Adnan Nasid has been navigating the streets of Jerusalem. His job as a taxi driver normally has him working all hours, but not anymore. Isid tells me that after months of violent protests in the mainly Palestinian east of the city and following a series of recent attacks against Israelis in the west, he no longer feels safe driving at night. Uh, by myself, yes, I'm afraid. If, you are, if there are four persons in the car, young person, and I am only the one that I am driving, so how I, would, how I can defend on myself? You're afraid you might be attacked by an Israeli? That's for sure. That's for sure. David, not his real name, has lived in West Jerusalem for most of his life. He works at this opticians in a busy shopping district popular with Israelis. David tells me he's noticed a significant drop in business in recent weeks and thinks people are staying off the streets over fears of more attacks. Of course, uh, the people feel um, uh, more concerned because you don't know uh, what what's going to happen. So. Um, it's a, it's a question, what's going to, to be in the next week, next uh, month? The Israeli government has been criticized for not being able to control the situation and has been accused of inflaming tensions by introducing policies which Palestinians say punish them. Whatever the case, on Thursday, the Public Security Ministry announced new guidelines on gun licensing as part of efforts to provide further security in the wake of the recent attacks. The new rules include the easing of restrictions on firearm possession and have declared 42 cities, towns and local councils, including Jerusalem, as high risk meaning residents in these areas can now get a gun permit much easier, a move critics say will only lead to more violence on the streets. It's clear this city is as divided as ever, but the one thing so many of its residents share is a fear of more violence. In Al Jazeera, West Jerusalem.